In this lesson, we're going to be talking about artboards, and they are like multiple design areas within your document that you can be exporting separately later from the same document you're working on. And this could be very useful if we're working on branding like we're seeing in here or corporate identity design. We can be creating our letterhead, business card, envelopes and everything within our same document and even using the same design elements within our different artboards, okay? So by default, when we start a new document from here, we're gonna be having only one artboard by default. So if you're gonna choose a brand file for instance, and then we're going to see these options like our width, height, and orientations, and how many artboards we want within our file. So we can start by one, or even we can start with many artboards if we would like. So let's start by nine artboards, for example. And we can choose our bleed area for printing for top, bottom, and left and right from here if we would like. And we can go even for advanced options. So let's create our document file. And now as we can see, we have nine art boards within our Illustrator file. So let's say we want to make different options of the same design for a client. Okay. And we want to use the same design elements. So we're going to be using our art boards to save us time to copy and paste our design elements within our art boards and then export each one individually later or even want to start our branding design and we want to be consistent within our designing so we want to keep our curves the same our layout the same and even our design elements so this will be really handy for us to use artboards or even i want to show you amazing trick to copy and paste the same design element in the same place of different artboards so let's say we have a number in here and we want to paste that number through our artboards or even a logo or anything it shouldn't be a number because like if we want to do that in InDesign it would be much better in there but let's say you want to paste your elements through your artboards and here we're gonna copy our element and we're gonna go to edit and paste on all artboards and as you can see, we've got our design element pasted in the same exact position in all our artboards for precise design experience. And you can export these artboards separately. Or even you can use that shortcut Alt or Option Shift Command V and it will be pasted through all your artboards. Or let's delete all these numbers. And I'm going to show you another way to use artboards. For example, you can use that element we're going to copy that one and paste it in here that's going to be in the center by default then we can enlarge that one holding shift and alt and you can have your vector element or your design element going through your entire artboard so that's another useful way to use artboards and to have creative art directions, trying that layout, for example, or that layout or any uh, other creative ways through your art board. And here's another Illustrator file to see how we can control our art boards or even create a new one. And we can control these art boards by that tool in here, which is Artboard Tool or Shift plus O for shortcut. So we're gonna press on that tool. And as you can see, we have Artboard 1 and two and three and four and you can select any of them by clicking on any artboard if you are selecting that tool and you click on any artboard you will see its options are highlighted in here you can rename that artboard let's say this one solid uh, magenta for example and we can select this one and we can call it artwork square and that would be artwork A4 and that would be solid 2 and even we can create a new artboard using our artboard tool by dragging anywhere through our screen and we can move it anywhere if we would like like that and we can change its size if we would like from here for width and here for height and if you select this one you're gonna constrain width and height proportions okay or even you can select from custom presets from here we have print sizes 
like A4, B3, B5 or later then we have some screen sizes and also we have some camera sizes in here okay so we can try the A4 for instance and you can change its orientation from here if you want like that portray or landscape and you can go to artboard options from here you can change it anytime you would like you can choose also different preset or even change its name also from here and you can show the center mark like this one or hide it and you can show crosshair for printing or show video safe areas for working on video files and once you're done with that you're gonna press on ok if you gonna change any settings and you can select multiple artboards by holding the shift key and dragging the mouse like that okay now you have all your artboards selected and you can move them around or even press shift to exclude any from the selection in order to duplicate any artboard you can select that artboard and press alt and it's going to be duplicated including its artwork so I'm going to be duplicating that artboard using the Alt or Option key and I'm going to press on Shift to make it aligned with my artboard to duplicate it like that, okay? And if you want to delete any artboard, use the Delete key in your keyboard and it will be deleted leaving your artwork or your design elements floating without artboard. So you can delete it as well if you would like. And in order to disconnect the artwork from the artboard, you're going to use that option unselect this button from here. And now you're going to see that your artboard is moving freely without your artwork. Sometimes it could be useful for your design purpose, but most of the time you need to keep them connected together to export your design file entirely. But say you want to export part of your design. So you're going to disconnect your artboard and then you're going to be moving your artboard for any proportion maybe you wanna export only that part of your design maybe you have some nice curves or any art direction you wanna do you can use that feature if you would like anyway i'm gonna undo that and leave them as you were and i'm gonna make them linked again and let's see they are moving together another way to access our options from the properties panel if you don't have it in here you can switch it from window and you can choose properties and you're gonna see that you have artboard options same one like this one in here artboard options and also you can rearrange all from here or from here that's for rearranging your artboards either by grid by row or grid by column or arrange by row or arrange by column if you would like let's keep it that way and you can choose how many columns you would like and spacing between them and you can move artwork with artboard as this option we just mentioned in here and then we can press on ok you can see that they are arranged in different way okay now because they are in different sizes they don't look amazing that way we can rearrange them again from here choose them in one row and it will be much more organized this way maybe you don't need that one we can delete our artboard and also delete the artwork and let's press command alt 0 for that view option and now let's see how to export our artboards if we would like let's go to file and export i'm gonna see export as from here and here you can choose your format if you would like i'm gonna choose jpeg for images or raster files instead of vector or you can choose BNG if you would like or any other format maybe TIFF format if you would like or any other format then we can select use artboards and we can choose either all artboards from here or either range let's say we don't want to export that blank one in here so we're gonna choose from 1 to 4 okay and we're gonna press on export setting and it will be exporting only those 4 artboards or let's say when I export 2 and 3 okay or even 2 and 4 this will be exporting our square artwork and our solid artwork and then you're gonna press on export and here you can choose your exporting options including your color mode whether it's RGB or CMYK or grayscale for printing screen or for grayscale and you can choose your resolution for file whether it's printing or screen 
medium and high, high for printing and screen will be for screen applications or websites. And you can choose your compression and we're going to be covering our exporting options in detail later. So now I'm going to choose OK. And that's how they are. We have our artboard 2 and 4 exported. That one I exported before. And that's how they're going to be exported in JPEG format. Okay. So one more thing to mention about artboards is that they have their own sequence. So if we rearrange them in any other way, this one will still number 3 and this one will be number 2. In order to rearrange them if we would like, we have artboards panel in here. We can make square instead of A4 like that. And they are rearranged. Or move up and down like that. And if we want to rename any artboard anytime like this one is not renamed yet, we can double click in here on the name itself and call it blank for instance. And also if we want to zoom at any artboard, we will double click that part of our artboard in here and we will be zooming into our artboard. In order to see all the artboards, we're going to press on command alt zero and we will be seeing all our artboards. And if we have any artboard that is selected like this one and press command one, we will be zooming onto our artboard. So we can either preview our artboards and zoom in and out via our shortcuts or via our panel in here for artboards and also we can rearrange them from here like we did from here or here. Okay, so we have three places to rearrange our artboards and also we can edit our artboards option from here as well. Okay, so you can do almost everything from many places as you can see. And let me show you another way to create a new artboard from here we can Press Command Alt Zero for preview like that, and we can press on New Artboard, and it will be creating a new artboard, same dimensions like this one in here, as you can see. So that's almost everything you need to know about artboards to export different designs within your Illustrator file or document, and also you can be using the Asset Export panel from here to export design elements instead of the entire design for the artboard but this is another lesson we're going to be covering the asset export in another lesson hope that was clear for you go ahead and experiment with your artboard tool and try creating multiple artboards and try to rearrange them the way you would like and i'll be seeing you in next lesson